Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Minecraft. Last time I played a map titled The Orphanage, which was actually my very first Minecraft horror map and kind of exposed me to this whole new side of the game that I was never really aware of before. A whole bunch of you asked me to play more, and one of the most requested maps was this one. Back to school. Now, the orphanage was actually quite old, and this is from a newer version, and a lot of you said that, for as impressed as I was with the orphanage, I haven't seen anything yet as far as where people have taken these things, even without modding the game. So I can't wait to step forward and see what we're dealing with. I guess this is enrollment right here. And we have to collect our textbook. Rules. You are Daniel, an elementary school teacher who was arrested on suspicion of the murder of Martin, a student of his class. Daniel will start investigating the murder on his own? Uh, if I'm breaking into the school to investigate my own murder charge, it doesn't sound like I'm really helping my case. Rules. Render distance 8. Particles on. Music off. Weather 15. Uh, blah blah blah. Okay, I'll just make sure that I have all this enabled. Okay, I've gone and applied the requested changes, but the one that confuses me a little bit is FOV90. That's a little weird, because in my experience, horror games tend to be the one place where I find it better to limit the FOV in order to feel more claustrophobic and like anything could be over your shoulder. Now we'll see how that goes. Auto jump off. Uh, do not move in the cinematic. Do not click. Right click followed. What? Uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble parsing that. Uh, and you can use creative if there's a bug. Okay. Uh, I can't... <laughs> wait to see what's going on here. Uh, you know I'm in the mood for this when I get jump scared by the first tooltip appearing. Start research work. Hello, did it just simulate a loading screen? No way! I am just sitting here with my mouth hanging open right now. Guys, I didn't install any mods for this. This is just the map and whatever resources are contained within. Look at this thing. How is this not modded? How, is, how has the creator done this? I don't understand at all. The community around this game is insane. Uh, but, uh, okay, let's talk about the actual contents of that cinematic. That was very well done. Uh, the custom sounds and all of that, the voice acting was actually pretty decent. And we got kind of a look at what happened. It seems as though the murder took place while school was in session. And I guess wasn't witnessed by kids, but the aftermath was discovered. This wasn't something that happened after hours. 
Uh, I feel like I'm looking at a cursed image when I see this stuff. How have, have they done this? I don't get it. Incredible. Okay, my expectations were already high because of the orphanage, but this is already just on another level. All this detail and debris on the ground, these slightly raised bricks. Textures on the ground. This is incredible. Uh, but we have to figure out some way in. Uh, it seems like every one of these maps is going to begin with me having to find some way to hop a fence. Can't go that way, but maybe... New notes. Wait, and we have a tape recorder, which we can listen to. Uh, I also have a set of my own keys, I guess, which makes sense. Since I work here, I guess the police haven't had a chance to confiscate them. And those are all the past news stories for us today. And to say goodbye, from the editorial office, we want to continue showing all our support to the family and friends of Martin Nova. The boy killed in the school of Ernesto Sorolla a week ago, which will continue to be closed for the entirety of the month. In current news, research has come to an impasse due to recently released teacher arrested on the first week. Okay, so I guess I'm out on bail, and... Uh, I don't know about you, but to me this seems like it would be some kind of bail violation, right? Uh, notes. I have to find a way to get into the school. I'll try to move that container. Uh... How do I move the container? Was I not supposed to switch it to adventure mode? How do I move it? Okay, that did something. Oh, I guess I just have to stand here. Alright, I can't move this one, I just have to stand... Okay, so does it work the other direction? No, okay, it's just scripted to do this, I guess. Alright, go on. Ah, oh, look at me. I'm an absolute shad of a teacher, just pushing this whole dumpster by myself. This attention to detail is incredible. The ambiance of crickets and dogs barking. The metal buckling as I climb on top of the lid. Oops. Okay, we're going to have to do a little bit of platforming, it looks like. Yep. Yep. And yep. I'm a B and e master. Uh, I mean, I'm innocent. I'm here to prove my innocence. Oh, look at this map. This place is absolutely huge, and it looks like there might be a pair of attics on either side of the building. Do not enter. Authorized personnel only. Something about this asset really reminds me of Akuma Kira games, such as Lost in Vivo and Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. And you know what? Looking around this walled in courtyard leading up to this large building, the light posts right here, it actually reminds me a lot of the intro to Outlast, doesn't it? Now, of course, I have to cross the police tape in front of the door, but uh, before I do that, I'm going to try and walk around the side and see if there's anything I can do over there. That was what you had to do in Outlast. No, I can't go this way. And nothing over here either. Wow, this is a really gorgeous property for an elementary school. Mine wasn't anything like this. My intermediate school was actually kind of like this. Uh, gym. Okay, well, we can't go that way. I can't go that way either. This map is actually full of invisible walls. The front door is closed. I'll try to get in through the gym. Okay, well, the gym is this way. I wonder if something will have maybe changed? Oh, maybe I don't go this way. Maybe I have to go up and around. That's why the invisible wall was blocking my... path. 
Did you see that? It looked for a second like there were some shoe prints on the ground there. Maybe there's a side door or something. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to look for. Uh, no. Uh, but maybe we can go through here. Uh, yeah, this looks like it. We can go this way. Nothing I missed over here? Alright, then let's go. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I'm the one leaving the footprints. That is so cool. I wonder if there will actually be, like, a mechanic to that, or if it's just a neat little detail. Ah, I was looking at these footprints and thinking, has somebody else come here before me? And if I didn't hurt that kid, then who did, and are they still here? Not to mention the question of why. Okay, so so far the only thing that's jump scared me is these tooltips. I have new notes. I'll break the glass with some stone or brick. Once again, not really doing much to prove my innocence. I'm kind of painting my own picture for the prosecutor here. Alright, where do I find a stone or brick? I mean, I've seen plenty of stones or bricks on the ground. Right here, perhaps. Yes. Got you. Ah, oh, that was a nice, weighty sound effect. And I feel like I should keep carrying one of these things as a weapon, just in case. Alright. Shuck and smash. Oh, am I playing Minecraft or Teardown? In any case, I'm in. Alright, I'm just gonna assume that I can't read you. Can I open the door from behind? No. I really did not like that silence for a second, but it's not much better when you break it with a noise like that. Uh, some posters for some programs. And it looks like this one's been vandalized. Uh, notes. I will go to my office to take the key to the fifth grade classroom. Which one's my office? How will I know? And I have two sets of keys, so how do I know which is which? I have to assume that my office will be marked somehow. <laughs> Someone was just here. Someone was just here. I am not alone in this building. And I must once again reiterate, everything I see in this feels like a cursed image. This doesn't feel like Minecraft. I just watched a ball bounce. <laughs> even interact with it to some extent. Look at that. Uh, I am just marveling at all the things uh, this game map is doing that I didn't even know were possible. On uh, the ambiance, the light flashing through the large windows of the gym. Absolutely beautiful. Echo of my footsteps in this cavernous space. I can't believe this. I'm sorry, those of you who came here to watch a horror let's play. I'm just marveling at the technical side of this thing. It doesn't look like we can get up in the bleachers. Uh, we can we can actually climb the climbing wall. Uh, but never mind. This, this is serious. We have the we have the murder of a child to clear my name of. <laughs> but also, this is inspiring me so much for my own server. I mean, even the construction is amazing. But how do I even know where my office is? This place is huge. Although it has done a pretty good job of guiding me so far. Caretaker's house. 
This place has a dog on prem. <laughs> a dog who is still here. Never mind, sorry. I, I may need some of your bricks. Uh, uh, uh. I'm sorry, it's just, when it comes to specific games that have a lot of custom-created content for it, you tend to develop sort of expectations for what can and can't happen. What was that? Uh, but, but with this, I have no frame of reference, because it's doing all kinds of things that, even though Minecraft is a familiar game to me, I'm seeing a lot of things I've never seen before. So I really need to recontextualize, I think, if I'm to go forward, and not just marvel at the technical side of things. I need to see this... Well, really, I need to see this as a game, and not just a Minecraft map. If I'm to commentate on this correctly. Yeah, yeah, broken motion lights. I can't pick you up, but... Apparently I can interact with this door. Okay, so it'll let me know when I can... interact. The slow back door creaking open. And this place has an airlock for security, I guess. Uh, I used to fantasize about this as a kid. Being locked in school overnight. I thought it would be cool to do things like hang out in the teacher's lounge, do whatever I wanted on the auditorium stage. Yeah, but I always knew that in the dark, I'd hear footsteps walking around that weren't mine. And that was enough to kind of put me off the whole idea. There's definitely someone moving around in here. So many corners where these walls dip into classrooms. And I feel like I have to check every one for someone waiting to ambush me. Uh, whoever they are, they ran when I entered the gym. They know I'm here. They know I'm coming. I'm still not sure if I'm supposed to be able to read these notes. I don't think so. Because all the other scripting has worked pretty well so far. And these lockers are quite tall for an elementary school. Also, these lockers are quite existent for an elementary school. Killer. It's just graffiti. Could be a coincidence. Then again, maybe that Russian dissident just happened to fall out that window. Uh, this office looks important. Is it mine? I've just noticed the keys are gone from my inventory. Where did that come from? That almost looked like it was thrown, but then... Maybe it was just supposed to be a breeze? Some kind of power box here, but... I don't see anything interactable. Uh, I almost wish Vanilla Minecraft would add props and stuff like this to allow us to detail our worlds. It is such a shame to me that in all the years, we've never gotten w what I would call like a dedicated creative update. Now, this place is very strangely laid out. Uh, down here must be where it happened. Uh, this looks to be some kind of administration nook. Uh, let's explore back here first. Yeah, yeah, dog. 
Who goes there? I think that dog must have noticed someone back there. That's why it was barking. Whoever threw that brick through the window. Although it seems I'm too late to pick it up if that was ever an option. I could potentially uh, jump down onto the balcony below or... No, no, it's not letting me. Not that it would be a wise choice at this point anyway. It's not like any school I've ever seen. But then again, I've always loved strange architecture. Things that don't seem to just be cookie cutter like most state buildings are. And that was why I really loved my intermediate school. The place was like a haunted castle. Uh, I'll link in the description a video where I kind of described it a little bit. Uh, but what else am I looking for in here? Carta and Daniel. Hello, Daniel. I've recently heard that you've been released. I'm sorry that they arrested you for being at the crime scene, although I know that you just wanted to help Martin. It certainly has been a difficult week. Today we've met the teachers to decide what we'll do with you. For the moment, you'll have to take a sick leave. We've also changed all the locks. I'm so sorry. Best regards. Director Alfonso. You met with the teachers? Uh, wouldn't that be something that's up to the district? Or, I don't know, the police? I left the keys of the primary classrooms in the caretaker's house. I'll not be coming for a couple of weeks because of what happened at the school. Director Alfonso. Some help that is. But I guess we now have to go back and make our way in there and hope that one of the keys we got is what we were looking for. Stop that. I'll go to the caretaker's house. Yeah, I was already on it. I hate it how my inner monologue seems to be the head of the Department of Redundancy Department. But I must say, I'm really impressed with the restraint this map has been showing so far. There's only been a handful of overt scares, and... Uh, the ambiance has really been left to do a lot of the work. Not a whole lot has happened, but just enough to make me... To make it quite clear that I'm not alone in these dark, cavernous halls. I'm almost grateful when the eerie music kicks in because it provides a reprieve from nothing but the echoing sound of my footsteps. I don't have the key. The door is open now. How you holding up, dog? Yeah. Okay, good. Just had to check on the doggy. You know, if the school is closed for the month, I really hope somebody's feeding you. Now, this is what we refer to as a trap. A cramped brick building with only one door in and out. And there's the windows, I suppose, but I'm not permitted to pick up another brick. There's even water in the sink. There's even water in the sink in the toilet. There's the key. Come on, give it to me. Hi, I'm the director here. 
primary classrooms in the caretaker's house. I will not be coming in a couple of weeks because of what happened at school. Okay. <laughs> that sounded like a kid. Is there something else going on here? Also, I must say, the voice acting in the beginning was pretty good, but, uh... That guy does not seem to be conveying the gravity of what's been going on here. Uh, putting an invisible wall between me and the bed so I don't sleep through the night. And now I can investigate in classroom number five, where I was the tutor. Now it's at this moment that I must call attention to the first rule of backtracking in horror games. It wouldn't have you go through an area you've already been through unless it intended to have something different happen. What is something different? This is like The Shining. Every time I round one of these corners, I expect to see some shadowy figure standing in the distance. Which I shouldn't, because once again, this is Minecraft, but we're at the point where I almost keep forgetting that. <laughs> Somebody pulled the fire alarm. Is there a way to turn this off? Do I want to turn this off? Come on. I have to say, with the lights on, part of me almost wanted to just let it ring. Surely that's got to be connected to the fire department, right? I have to get this done, or else emergency services will be here soon, and it's not going to look good for me, a murder suspect, uh, being seen breaking into the scene of the crime. Can't go this way anymore. Which one is... What just happened? Oh, I can push it out of the way. Oh, I have to do it in the corner only. See, it's strange because here what it's doing is it's simulating physics. Much like we saw with the ball, it, it, it kind of is almost good enough to give the appearance that it's physics, uh, but you'll see that it moves in a scripted way. Kind of odd, the books stacked in the corner like that. Okay, this key isn't going to let me get in there. Someone has closed the door to access the primary classrooms. I'll try to access by the store. You're telling me that there's an alternate entrance to the classrooms through the basement. Well, that ominous drumbeat tells me that there can only be good things waiting for me in the darkness below. Whoa! Oh my! Oh my! Minecraft, folks. This is Minecraft. Well, I got my shadowy figure that I mentioned anticipating, but still didn't really believe could happen, I guess. Okay. Sometimes, with horror maps, the only way out is through, and you just have to give chase even though you really don't want to. Oh, there's so much obstructing my vision. Are you hiding in plain sight? Am I going to find that to be the case? When I look at an image like that, I think 
there could be someone right in front of me, and I wouldn't even know it. Like, which individual details comprise your form? <laughs> I can't believe what I'm seeing, and I can't believe how much it's getting me. There's a sub-basement. This elementary school has a sub-basement. I believe the creator of this map mentioned that uh, on the download page that they're Spanish. Is this kind of establishment typical in Spain? Because I wish it was more typical here. Oh no. Oh, the more I play this, the more it's starting to remind me of Condemned. This whole place is very linear. The kind of place that might potentially, I don't know, lend itself to a chase, maybe? This looks like it's probably the other side of the door that slammed shut. I think we're in the primary classrooms. Well, this looks more like a cafeteria, actually. But maybe they're further down the hall. <laughs> you're new! You're new! You're new! You're new! You, the caretaker. I should have known the person would have had to have gained access to the place somehow. I don't know what has happened. The caretaker is dead. Stop doing stuff while I'm um, reading. It's... I should have gotten into the game by now, but it just keeps showing me images that shouldn't be possible in Minecraft. I I've mentioned in a couple of videos before how... When, when there's, like, very smooth movement in a game, it, it can really contribute to making a jump scare land, especially if it's silent. I think what we're seeing here is a form of that. I, I've never seen these types of things in Minecraft before, uh, especially unmodded Minecraft. I don't know what's happened. I, I, I already read this already. God. Okay, back in. Back in. Reimmerse. I'm looking for classroom five. At this point, I'm not sure I could leave if I wanted to. It seems the killer is returned to the scene of the crime, if there were any doubt before. Oh, it happened. Wait. Did it happen in the restroom? Or is this where the caretaker was murdered? Oh. oh, that was an excellent jump scare. It's something that makes sense to have happen now, given that I'm breaking into a murder scene in which I am the prime suspect. And yet, it's actually just me having basically a flashback to the traumatic event when I was caught. Alright, uh, what's this new note? Here they found Martin. He had many wounds from a sharp weapon. 
and here was where I was when I was arrested. I'll go to class number five. That was a great way to convey that. Alright, classroom five. Can we move any farther? I think my FOV just might have given me a spoiler unless I missed a jump scare. I've noticed that things on my peripheral vision seem to unload sometimes. The windows have been boarded up or shuttered. Hello? Why isn't this working? Oh, you know what? I, I think I saw something on the forum post for this map about this room being bugged. Uh, hang on, there were solutions for it. I'll, I'll tab out and take a look. It said to use the following command. And, okay, good. Copy-paste does work in Minecraft. There we go. I guess we won't get to read it, though. Ha, we discovered you, teacher. It wasn't our intention. Sorry about our euphoria, but when we saw you there getting close to the school, we called them keep calm. We are sorry about what we have done to Martin. I didn't want to fail. I didn't want to start the academic year again, so we called and tolerated. it. But finally, we have been able to draw your attention. About what happened to the vigilant, as I said, we are way too happy. But today is a celebration day. Finally, our favorite teacher will be here with us. So you will be here forever. Yes, you. Thanks, teacher, for being that kind with us. Well, that was an unexpected ending. What a creepy direction to take it. Wow, that was crazy. Uh, I, I'm gonna have to like re-listen to that because I couldn't really understand what they were saying. Although I do appreciate the effort uh, for non-English voice actors to attempt to, you know, do translations like that. Uh, especially if that actually is a child voice actor. Uh, maybe it was just a voice pitch up, but in any case, uh, that was really cool. That was really cool. Bravo. That was so well done. I don't even know what else to say. I mean, I already spent half this video talking about how this didn't even feel like Minecraft. And that ending was just not what I anticipated at all. But super interesting and a really creative direction to take it. In the end, I think I just appreciated it for its subtlety. I mean, I feel like Minecraft almost has this reputation for being, like, uh, sort of cringe by default. So for it to not only overcome that kind of pre-expectation, but actually deliver an experience that is really cool in its own right, that is super impressive to me. Custom voice acting. Voice acting. And for the most part, pretty good voice acting as well. And graphically, I mean, all these models and assets and textures... I'm just gonna say it, I almost feel like if this were made in Unity or something as a standalone game, it might not look as good as this. I mean, the way the textures and lighting and all this come together, I almost feel like this is the perfect way for this map to look. Which, it's so weird to be saying that about Minecraft, but here we are. I give props to the creator for really understanding that this environment and this lighting and this ambiance that it's created are intrinsically creepy. Having enough events to realize that it's not just one of those nothing happens maps, but it allows our own mind to do most of the work. It allows us to spend a lot of time in our own head just walking back and forth down these halls with enough detail that we don't get bored. There's plenty to look at, and plenty of corners for us to be anxious about. 
This was surprisingly subtle, and I really enjoyed that experience a lot. And if you have any other Minecraft horror maps that you'd like me to play, please suggest them, because I would love to do more. I would love to do more. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest those will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this map out for yourself, that link will also be down in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.